Now on GMA, our next guest is one busy woman here at ABC, and in her spare time, she's a best-selling children's book author. She's joining us now to talk about her latest book called How High is Heaven? Good morning, Lindsay Davis. Good, good morning, morning to you. To How you, are you? Mr. Strahan. It's good to see you. It's great to see you. And I, I, I'm trying to understand here. You are so busy here. When do you have time? How do you find time to write a book? Not as busy as you. But look, I have to, I don't know if I should admit really, but my son still likes for one person to be in the room with him while he's falling asleep. So once the lights are all <laughs> out, I kind of do sneak my phone in and I kind of start reflecting on the day. And in a number of ways, I consider myself to be a storyteller with my reporter hat that I wear here every day. And, and in this way, I feel like this is a way to kind of tell the good news, the uplifting and get away from the murdered and missing and mayhem that, that we talk about so yeah. much in the news cycle. And this is kind of joyful in a way to get the creative juices out and and also reflect on on parenthood and your son Aiden he is your muse you said so how did he inspire this book so he came home from school one day and he said how come my friend has two grandmas and two grandpas and I only have one of each mm. and so I started telling him about um, his grandma P as we call her and uh, my my husband's mother who passed away when my son was about one and so I said you know let me show you the pictures of her because he said I want to see her and then I said you know she's in heaven and he said no I want to go to see her I want to go to heaven mm -hmm. and see her and this was something that he really kind of became preoccupied about for several days he would talk about well when how old can I be when I go to heaven uh, to see her and then after a while I was like you know this is really worthy of of a conversation wow and you've written four books does he have a favorite and if so, how do you say, okay, the book is ready? Does Aiden have to give his approval? <laughs> you know, I do. He has always been kind of my tester. And so early on when I finish, I'm reading it to him to kind of see what he thinks. He's really into the character, and especially in this one. And I have to say, he says each book is his favorite when it comes out. Now, I think he's probably trying to placate mom. <laughs> but I would say in this one, even though he's inspired each of the books, in this one, he knows we had this conversation. He knows we were up in a plane. He was looking out of the window, and he said, I don't see her. I said, you don't see who and he said I don't see grandma P he was like I thought while we were up in heaven we were gonna see her and so that was really kind of the moment that inspired the book and and it's really a whimsical way of addressing death for kids I mean certainly yeah. uh, you're aware of the the grim milestones that we've been passing it's estimated more than 200,000 children in the last two years have lost the primary caregiver due to to COVID and this is kind of a, a little boy who's trying to take a pogo stick or a trampoline or a spaceship or a hot air balloon in order to get uh, to heaven and see grandma and your faith is the theme in this book and why was that important for you to include you know I couldn't really talk to my son about death without talking about heaven and you know this isn't just uh, confined to one particular religion in all the holy books they talk about um, the, the, a reward at the end of life and so I felt like for him the idea of a reunion that this was not goodbye but this was see you later was what kind of finally calmed him and gave him a little bit of, of comfort a little bit of of solace in all of it that one day he will get to heaven and one day he will see grandma again. I absolutely love being inspired by your kids. Yes. How Aiden does that for you. It, uh, you know, I think that when we look at life through their eyes, it's refreshing for us. You know, and, and it's really just a, a beautiful way for, for me to connect with my son because a lot of times I'm like, don't watch the news. <laughs> this yeah. is too much for you. And But with the books, it's a way that we can actually have conversation. And I'm able to kind of channel him in the work that I'm doing because I'm with him every day. I'm seeing what he's curious about, what he's questioning, what he's experiencing. And it's a, a really lovely way that I hope that that parents and kids, especially people who are dealing with death for and trying to talk to kids in a young way about it. I think that quite often, you know, the greatest theologians struggle with how to talk about yeah. uh, heaven and death sometimes. But kids, they just have that imagination versus intellect. They're able to imagine it. When he gets old, he's going to say, Mom, remember those books we wrote? Yeah, yes, that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody at home, Lizzie's book, How High is Heaven, is out today. Make sure you go pick yourself up a copy of it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.